Okay, in this video, I'm going to set up my HD Home Run Prime cable card tuner on my home theater PC for the very first time. So let's get to it. So here's the HD Home Run device, and here is my cable card. And it's very simple to actually put it into the device. You just have your slot here in the back. All you need to do is plug the cable card right into that slot. Just make sure everything matches up. It should slide in, and it should only slide in one way. You shouldn't be able to put it in upside down. And just insert it until it clicks, or at least it gets snug, and it won't go any further. And there you go. Cable card installed into the cable card tuner. Now I just have to hook this up to my computer, and then the computer is already hooked up to my television set. So I'm going to go set this up now. Okay, the next thing I want to do is put in this software disc, the HD Home Run Prime disc that came with the device itself, put it into my home theater PC, and start the setup process. Okay, my autoplay window launches here, so I'm going to run the program. Okay, it gives me installation instructions or an option to install HD Home Run software, 64-bit. I'm going to install the software here. And it says, Welcome to the HD Home Run Setup Wizard. So I'm just going to go through these here and get this set up. Picks a folder for it to go in. I'll go with the default. And it says, Ready to install. So let's do it. And it says here, the HD Home Run is not detected. And it's pretty simple. The reason for that is because I don't have it plugged in yet. Now, what I have done is I've plugged the device in. I have connected it to my cable feed. And then what I did is I actually plugged in the device via Ethernet straight into my computer. Now, in my setup here, I'm using wireless for my internet on the computer, and I can use that Ethernet port to connect my computer to the HD Home Run Prime. In a normal setup, you would connect the HD Home Run Prime to your wireless router, and then from your router to your computer via a wired scenario. But for me, I have this computer downstairs in my living room, and then my router is on the second floor. So the device is hooked to the computer, it's hooked into my cable feed, and it's hooked into the power outlet. So now that the software is installed, let's see if it can detect the HD Home Run Prime. So right now, it's upgrading the firmware on the device. Now it seems like it's rebooting the HD Home Run Prime and the upgrade is complete. It found the three tuners and I'm ready to go. Now as you can see on the screen, I don't know if you can see it because it might be a little too small, but there's a HD Home Run Prime install wizard and it's asking for my location. The next step over is application. I'm using Windows Media Center, but you can use a whole bunch of different options here. Beyond TV, Sage TV, XBMC, Media Center. There's a lot of options that you can choose on here, but I'm going with Windows Media Center, and the preview application is HD Home Run Quick TV. I don't know if that's going to actually change, but I'll just leave that as default. My tuners here, I have three different tuners. The next step over is Cable Card, and then Advanced. So what I'm going to do now is attempt to set this up through Windows Media Center. I don't know at this point, because this is my first time doing this, I don't know at this point if I'm going to have to fill in any information from the install wizard here. Um, I don't think I will because the device is communicating with the computer and it recognizes the three tuners. So hopefully I'll be able to just get this ready to go through Windows Media Center. So I have my Windows Media Center remote here that I actually have off of my old HTPC, home theater PC, and I connected it to this computer, and we're going to use it. I'm going to hit the Windows button, and it should bring up Media Center. There we go. Welcome to Windows Media Center. Now it says want TV on your PC, select continue to get started. I'm going to hit continue. And it says get started, express. Set up Windows Media Center with recommended options, automatically download media information from the internet, and join the customer experience improvement program to send data to Microsoft about Windows Media Center's usage and performance. 
I'm going to use this option because it'll give me all the functionality I need and I don't have to get into the specifics of everything. So I'm just going to click on that. And here's Windows Media Center. Okay, so I'm going to go to TV here and go to Live TV Setup. Now it says tuner not found. The TV signal cannot be configured because a TV tuner was not detected. If you have a tuner, ensure it's installed correctly. To find out how to watch TV on your PC, visit windows.com slash PC TV. And let's go back to the wizard here. So I'm going to fill in my location. Obviously it's the United States. Let me put in my zip code here. Now it says application, main application, Windows Media Center. We went through this earlier. And then I'll keep the preview application HD Home Run Quick TV. It's the default. Um, I can always change it if it needs to be changed. But let's go to the next here. And we have the tuners all set up here. Let's go to the next selection here. So I had the tuner selected here and I hit scan and it gave me all of my local channels here. So I guess let's hit finish here. And it's updating the configuration and hopefully now it should work. And let's go back up to TV and then live TV setup. Now one thing here that you have to note, I'm actually using a cable card that I already set up on a different computer with a different tuner, but the cable card is the same. So at this point, I don't know if I'm going to have to contact my cable provider or if this is just going to work out of the box. But this cable card isn't brand new. It's already linked to my account. So the process that you're going to see here might be a little bit different from your process. But I just wanted to make note of that. So we're going back here to Live TV Setup. And I'm going to click on that and let's see what goes down here. Okay, here we go. It looks like it's recognized the tuners and we're ready to go. So it says region. Your region is used to configure your computer for local TV services. I'm in the United States. Yes, this region is correct. So let's go to, oop, let's go to yes and then next. Now it wants me to enter my zip code. So I'll do that and I'll check back with you on the other side of that. Okay, I have a Terms of Service here. I'm going to agree to this, obviously, and hit Next. And now I have Microsoft Play Ready PC Runtime EULA. Of course, I'm going to agree to that and hit Next. So now Windows Media Center is downloading and installing Play Ready and now downloading TV setup data. Okay, TV signal detection result. Windows Media Center detected the following. Digital cable card, three tuners. Is this configuration correct? Yes, it is. Now it says activate support for digital cable. To view and record premium or high definition TV channels, you must enter a product key. Select next to enter your product key. Let's hit next. Okay, it says enter your product key for activation. And apparently the key is already in the field there. I just blocked it out so you can't see it. And it's activating right now. Okay, activate your cable card. When you set up Windows Media Center for use with a cable card to access premium channels, information about your computer and cable card will be sent to your TV service provider. Do you want to set up Windows Media Center for use with a cable card? Of course I do, so I'm going to hit yes and next. Activate your cable card. To activate your cable card, call your cable company and provide them with the information from the following page. If you do not activate your cable card, remove it from your digital cable tuner to be able to watch or record non-premium channels. Okay, so I didn't call my cable provider because I'm going to see if this is going to work without having to set it up because like I said before, this cable card is set up already but it might not work because it's not the same computer and not the same cable card tuner that I use. But I'm just giving it a shot here. So it says TV signal configuration. The following TV signals will be configured for your Windows Media Center. It gives the location of my local Comcast provider. I'm going to hit next to confirm that. 
and let's see if this works. Okay, now it's downloading the TV program guide. The guide provides TV listings to help you find, watch, and record TV shows and may contain up to 14 days of TV listings. Okay, it says TV signal setup finished. You have finished configuring Windows Media Center with the following settings. And then it gives the location of my local Comcast and then it says select finish to exit. I'm gonna hit finish. And I'm gonna check right now if I get live TV. Okay, so my gamble paid off. I didn't need to call my cable provider because like I said already, I have activated this cable card. So no big deal. Hopefully I don't run into any problems where I do have to call them in the future. So that's it. That's my HD Home Run Prime setup on my home theater PC, my brand new home theater PC. It was an upgrade from the previous one, hopefully a lot more reliable. And now instead of one tuner, I have three tuners. So that should be more than enough. So that pretty much does it for this video. If you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. As always, if you like what you see, please subscribe. And if you want to help out my channel, give me a thumbs up or favorite this video. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.